Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the graphical representation of the hyperbolic cotangent. Now, the hyperbolic cotangent is defined as the ratio of the hyperbolic cosine divided by the hyperbolic sine, which gives us this representation in terms of e to the x and e to the minus x. Or, if we divide the denominator into the numerator, we can write the result like this, 1 plus that particular ratio. Now when we evaluate this ratio, this representation of the hyperbolic cotangent of x, we can see that as x approaches infinity, this here, this fraction, will approach 0. So when we add that together, 1 plus 0, we get 1, which means as x approaches infinity, the function will approach 1. And so we draw, we draw an asymptotic line here at y equals 1. Then when x equals 0, Notice when we plug in 0 for x here, we get 2 divided by 1 minus 1, which is 2 divided by 0, which means it's undefined. So we should have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Then as x approaches minus infinity, and we evaluate this fraction right here, we get minus 2. So that 1 plus a minus 2 gives us a minus 1, which means as x approaches negative infinity, we asymptotically will reach the value of y equals negative 1, so we draw another asymptote there. Now, since the value is not defined at this point, and we know that it's positive 1 to the right and negative 1 to the left, we expect a curve that will look like this. So we go like this and like that, but just to make sure, we're going to evaluate it at one more spot, when x equals 1. So when we plug in x equal, uh, 1 for x over here, we evaluate that, we get 0 0.313. When we add that to 1, so we get 1 plus 0 0.313, which is equal to 1.313, which means when x is equal to 1, y is equal to something larger than 1, which gives us the, the assurance that, yes, the function will look something like this over here, and then we'll have a mirror image on the other side, which means that the function will have to look like that on the other side. And then just to make sure that we have the curve correct, what would happen when we plug in x equals minus 1? So when we plug in x equals minus 1 over here, what that would mean, so we have x equals minus 1, we plug that in here, so we end up with uh, 2e to the 1 divided by e to the minus 1 minus, and that would be e to the plus 1, like this, and this would come out to be a minus 2.313, and if we subtract that from 1, because it would be 1 plus a, well here, 1 plus a minus 2.31, notice then over here we would be below the axis, of course I exaggerate a little bit, but that's okay, realizing that we end up with a value over here at minus 1.313, again, making sure that we didn't make a mistake, and that's a good representation of the hyperbolic cotangent of x. And that's how it's done.